what is going on guys i am super late i'm on this review but straight out of compton uh the biography of the nwa niggas with attitudes if you didn't know now you know i'm gonna start off i saw the the movie about two and a half weeks late i saw it last saturday um and i must say I would rate the movie a 10 out of 10 on the Gia Ireland scale of greatness achieved. I absolutely loved the movie. Um, now, there's pros and cons, and there's basically uh, three sides to how people view NWA uh, straight out of Compton. You got people that are loving it for it, enjoyed the movie. You got people that are neutral. They're just watching it, or they, they care not to watch it. They really don't care. And then you got people on the left who are not watching it because they do not support Dr. Dre, who has been uh, violent and abusive towards women, domestic violence. Then you have people who don't support it because of the portrayal of African Americans. Some people feel that that type of rap music is negative and puts a negative stereotype on black people. Me personally, I understand uh, all three sides, but me, I went to see it. I spent money at the movie theater uh, on a black film that was produced by a black uh, uh, director and not to mention it was uh, about a black African-American inner city urban group. So for me, spend money with my own people. Uh, I loved it personally. Um, now, the acting was really well to me. And mind you, these are most of the actors in this movie are unknown. No one ever heard of them, never seen them in a movie before, and they did amazing. They did phenomenal. Um, then you had uh, Ice Cube's son, O'Shea Jackson Jr., must I say, he did his thing. He looks like his father, and he played his father to the T. And I love how the movie really shows you the background behind how NWA was formulated and created, and then it takes you through their lives. Um, even after NWA disbanded, the original uh, members disbanded, and people went on their separate solo careers and, uh, and what you know through Easy E's life and everything. Um, it was really well played. And, you know, I must say most of the actors were extremely handsome, very sexy. So it was good. It was easy and pleasing to the eye for me. Um, yes, there's a lot of cussing. Yes, there's, you know, uh, you know, gangsta thugged out selling drugs. You know, yes, there's a lot of bitches and hoes and degrading women. Um, but I want to say something is I don't, you know, me personally as a black female, I don't support degrading women. And in hip hop, it is, you know, it's a negative view on women the majority of the time. Um, however, it is what it is. This, I mean, for a lot of people, I'm not gonna say a lot of people, for some people, this is their life. This is their story. And that's for, for, for what NWA was growing up in, the people that were in NWA, the lives that they lived, the neighborhoods they grew up in, the stuff that they saw on a daily basis, they were writing from what they saw, okay? Now, today's hip-hop, you know, is completely different in the sense that you have a lot of posers who are not living in the inner cities, never struggled today in their life, but they're rapping about it as if they did. Where with NWA, it's different, you know, most of the members actually lived in uh, Long Beach, South Central Compton. They lived in the hood and they're writing about what they saw and dealt with on a daily basis. Also, um, you know, with Ice Cube, he wrote, you know, and he stated in the movie, you know, this is what I'm seeing, you know, police brutality, F the police. And ironically, you know, uh, 30, almost 30 years later, you know, 29 years later, nothing has changed. <laughs> We're still dealing with police brutality. We're still dealing with racism. We're still dealing with domestic violence, violence against women, uh, sexism, classism. We're still dealing with these same oppressive issues that they were dealing with in 1986 in, in uh, Compton. So here I am coming from Flint, Michigan. So straight out of Flint, I see a lot of violence on a daily basis. People are dying all, all around me. Do I live in the hood per se? No, I don't. But I'm from Flint, Michigan. I was born and raised here and I currently reside here. So if I was to, you know, make a biography about my life or make songs and rap music about my life, me personally, I would write about what I saw and what I dealt with. All right. But anyways, good acting, good story plot. The storyline was so well developed. I mean, it literally took you through each phase of NWA and into the individual solo careers of Easy A. Ice Cube. 
uh, Dr. Dre, his connections with Suge Knight. And Suge Knight, you know, that dude just was a shitty person overall. You know, he was a big-ass bully, and that's pretty much what he was, and that's what he still is to this day. Like I said, 29 years later, nothing has changed, right? Um, but and I'm, I'm and shout out to NWA for shutting down the box office basically for a month. Shout out to them for real. I, I'm happy. You know, it's good to see a black film. Okay, that's about that 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 that's about us, and it shows what some of us are dealing with because all African Americans aren't living in the hood. All African Americans are not struggling. Everybody ain't gangsta boo boo, and everybody ain't bitches and hoes. Okay, we are a very diverse group of people. Okay, but it's good to see a film uh, directed by an African American, a story about African Americans, and I was happy to spend my money to see it. And I probably will go and see NWA straight out of Compton again for the second time. Me personally. It was a great movie. I mean, then the whole movie, you kind of wanted to get up and dance in some of the scenes, you know, because the music was just that good. And, um, you know, it took me back as if I was born in the 80s. I was born in 1992. But anyways, I grew up on that music and I still listen to that music. So I enjoyed it. You know, I, it was just a good movie. Like, I really recommend you go and see it. Um, but you don't have to take my word for it. It's up to you where you what you do with your life and where, and where you spend your money. Me personally, rate it a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, thumbs it up, okay? Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. Links are in the description box below. And I try to follow you back. So hit me up on there. And uh, yeah, I loved it. You know, great movie. Gia's World. Deuce.